God has blessed me with. To God be the glory for the great things that he has done. And remember, this is a family that we are, no matter what. Shazam should be on in a second, but before we do, let's 
went a little bit by. Let's see. Marcel Casanova. I feel, you know, a little country talking about uh, <laughs> my fam. You know, my fam, man, listen, listen. I ain't saying nothing else. This is country by Marcel Casanova right here on 5926 Central. Me no man. And now more. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm country with it like trail riding. Oh, two dough on that cow hide. T shine like sunshine. Forty cocked on my waistline. Country boy, but I don't smoke hate. Loud sweet in my ashtray. Treat every day like my last day. Treat every day like my last day. I'm country. AC on with the windows down. If you see me, no contenders uh-huh. round. Talk of the town, I shut them down. Moonshine and joints roll. If I'm in the game, then points go. House parties and drink poles. Pimp talking, can't go. I'm country, 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 country talk. Yeah. You see the country walk. Yeah. You smell the country homie. Yeah. It's cause I'm country homie. Yeah. I'm country. Country talk, yeah. country walk, country slam. 
country, y'all. <laughs> and so am I. Listen, listen. I'm so country, y'all, till I I I, I go outside. I, 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 I'm just going to tell you. I go outside with my shoes off sometimes. You know, people be saying, girl, girl, you can't be outside without your shoes on. And I'm like, what What mean I have shoes? Anyway, move on. Country, y'all. I'm country. Rice for breakfast. You understand me? I know y'all are grits. I eat grits too, but rice for breakfast. You understand me? Rice and eggs. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes my granny used to do smothered chicken. For breakfast, I will tell you how country I am. I I, I see a hand right. I want to I want to tell you how country I am. Them, you country? Well, well, you 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 can't forget the rabbit or the squirrel and gravy with biscuits. I mean, Jesus. you can't get no more home country than that. Biscuit. Listen, and and yeah. it's not a homemade biscuit if it ain't a little flour on the biscuit. See, got to have a little flour. That little see, patch people, of dry. Just drop this engraved in the look. It ain't a it ain't a homemade biscuit. I seen some homemade biscuits, baby. Listen, if some of them be like rocks, if you that person that be making them biscuits is like rocks, I'm calling you out right now. Stop it. Cut it out. That's not your gift. That's not your gift. Listen, country living. Let's flashback, Sam. I'm gonna flashback to some country living today, tonight. Uh, country living. Oh, my God. When you walk out in the backyard and they cutting a deer from the rooter to the tooter, mm-hmm. that's the country. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, the country. Yeah. And they hope folk will be fainting, but but they when everybody having a conversation and laughing and there's a bucket, you understand? Those of you from the country understand what I mean about the bucket. One of them little watch pads. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. That's country. That's country. Let's now, see what else. Stepping out either door. Oh. And that oh, and that mean ass that mean ass rooster that's that somewhere around in the vicinity or something just jump out from nowhere. Nowhere. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my Lord, Jesus. Or now some of y'all, this is gonna be too country for y'all, but 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 my my uh, uh uh mother, let's say mother, because that's what we call it. She had a slop uh-huh. bucket, a slop uh-huh. bucket. See, if you ain't cut, you don't know what slop is. <laughs> uh huh. Like if you ain't cut, we didn't throw nothing away. We didn't throw no fu- look. You didn't throw nothing away. It went in the what slop bucket. Slop bucket. Now, and where did now, the slop bucket go? To the hog pen. It, it went in that hog pen in the hog trough. In the trough. Where the sign, yeah. see, Jesus, you got to be country to know what we're talking about. So if, if, if you don't know what we're talking about, you know, you know, God bless you. But it was a slop bucket, y'all. Now, we need to tell mm-hmm. a story about, we need to tell a story about the 15 million cat. We need to talk about the cat. <laughs> Because I heard so many different scenarios on how mother got all them cats. You understand me? And um, I need to know. Well, okay. There was a cat that was at our house, which was, you mm-hmm. know, maybe if over the river and through the woods, you know, we probably about a mile away from, well, maybe two miles from mm-hmm. mother's house. And, and there was a cat that was around our house called Lisa. She was white. A white cat, and I guess she got tired because we wasn't treating her right, and she went the mother. <laughs> now, where the tomcat came from, I have no idea. But apparently, <laughs> tomcat and Lisa got together and just had a ridiculous amount of cats around mother's house. Exactly, and she fed them all equally, just like she fed the hogs and the dogs and the chickens and the roosters. Mm. Everybody got fed. Everybody got fed. I remember, listen, when we talk about going home, all I could hear in my mind is Uncle Charles' truck coming down. 
Mr. Hill. You knew breakfast was ready when you heard the truck. Let me let me let me go on. Let me move on. Yeah. Come yeah. down the hill. Yep. Oh my God. Oh my God. Country. Country. Yep. Now everybody everybody else, you know, I don't know what y'all did when y'all was growing up, but after we ate breakfast, we could not stay in the house. Oh, y'all nope. think I'm playing. <laughs> oh my God. I wish you would go sit in the living room. Like you could have okay, watched the living room for grown folks. For yeah, grown folks. And you better not come in there while they talking. Oh my God. Oh, my Lord. Yeah. Yeah, don't come yeah. in. Listen. Even if it looked like now, you interested. Now you got these little kids just joining in on adult conversation. Adult conversation. And been back I, had to my, I had to catch myself. Because I was talking to one of these uh, ladies. And and that kid walked up to me, like, yeah, I went down. I, what, I said, was I? I had to catch myself. Because <laughs> she just started talking to him. Yeah, baby, uh-huh, you right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute now. <laughs> see, we would have got, ch- listen, we, see, my grandfather, damn, help me because I'm scarred. He had a whip, do you understand me? Man, look. And he was off the chain with it too. Baby, he had a, when he came down to catch the tip. Oh! And now that I think about it, that whip was ragged, but it was <laughs> down the house. Then he had yeah. it wrapped up with duct tape or something. Once some fit some duct, lit. That wrapped with duct tape. That's what held it together. That's what held that baby together. Jeez. Oh my God. And he used to always get markers though. Oh my God. Marcus uh, fell for that baby. Because he, Marcus, but Mar- I don't know. Was Marcus bad? I don't know. I wasn't paying that much attention. But Marcus, I always, yeah, we, were all, he was always we were all young. So. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, let's talk about Switch. Let's talk about Switch. Okay. Well, well, are we talking about regular Switch? Are we talking about the Deuces? Are we talking about the tray? Oh, my God. I don't know. It seems as though we need to go from level to level because what happens is, see, let me tell you something. The most dangerous thing you could ever hear in the country as a child is bring me a switch. Mm-hmm. Go out there. And, and what happens that done with the smallest thing that you could find. Oh, my God, Jesus, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Why would you do that? Why would, why would you go? Because, see, I don't know what kind of tree that was outside a mother house that we used to play like we was making greens and stuff with. I don't know what kind of tree that oh, was. Oh, yeah. But was, was it, a, it was it a mimosa. It had the little I, pink uh, cotton-looking yeah. flowers on it. Yeah. 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 Oh, my God. If she had to go out there and get that switch, listen to me, people. Listen to me. Mo- look, mother wore what is them them uh them shoes? She I call them I call them nurse shoes. Yes. Yes, And they was they black or brown? Or did she have both pair? I don't know. She had a white pair that she wore to work because remember she worked at the nursing home. True. And she wore all white, white stockings, white shoes, white oh my God, uh, white dress, and a white apron. And they were oh, white, 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 white. Oh, they was white for real. She wasn't playing with you. Yeah, and then she, she had, was. then she had another pair. I don't remember if they were gray or black. Or yeah, that's what I'm saying. I can't remember she what had, she wore around the house. Yeah, they was like grayish. But I remember the shoes. Yeah, and she also wore house shoes because you could hear her her slide when she was coming down the hallway. <laughs> I remember, I remember the the slide her shoes made because her her walk was was distinct, you know. Yeah, 
And we're going to talk about the knee highs, baby. I had a whole comment the way off of these knee They never stayed at the knees. They never stay. Yeah, you know, I got a problem with that. I feel like a knee high, if it's a knee high, it should be higher than the knees. But but obviously, the name was just a formality because the knee high never made it up past the knees. It had a knot in the side. I never, maybe a somebody knot out there. He had a knot. Listen, listen. And you know what? You're right. I just, I just, because I remember looking at them knee highs and how they be so stretched at the top. You're right. That's why the knot was there. Because I used to always wonder why is the, why is that knee high hugging the mid portion of your calf muscle? I don't understand. That's a knee high. And then my thing was if your skirt was short, and you know what I'm saying. If that skirt short, why we ain't got pinholes on stockings? You know, since we gonna be on well, the stockings. Yeah, well, you know. well, well, nothing short about mothers' uh, dresses. Now that's true, but I didn't see that. Girl, I didn't, look, I didn't. I didn't see what I didn't see. I didn't see anything. So okay, yeah. y'all know that. Now y'all don't know this story. We tell it all the time, but I don't know how many of y'all know this story. But mother didn't drive. Not at all. Nope. But was everywhere. Listen. <laughs> was everywhere. She was at, at uh Sunday go to meeting, that's how they say. She was at YPWW. <laughs> mm. She was at the district meeting. She was at yep. it's a it's a lot of meetings though. It's a lot of meetings when it comes yeah. to church. She was when real it comes to church. When it comes to COVID, <laughs> it comes to COVID it's a lot of oh my God. and it's a lot of the district meeting, the the women's the uh how do they say it? The uh Okay, okay. Y'all church in the country. I'm talking about I'm talking about old school church in the country. Let me make that plain. Let me make that plain. I'm talking about old school, back in the day, wood flows, uh, 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 stickers on the windows for, for because you couldn't afford uh, stained glass windows, so you bought the sticker, the mm-hmm. sticker, uh, the stained glass. Yep. The the yep. church yep. smell like old old pews and wood. You c- come on. Uh huh. I'm just saying. And if the summer, if the windows are gonna be up anyway. Anyway. Anyway, and, pe- and watch now, this. I remember people in the window. Huh? I say, and people in the window. Yeah. If it was a good revival. That, that's, what I, that's what I was going to say. I remember as as a child, the windows up in the church, my my auntie was just playing that same tune. She was just playing it faster. Huh. And she played it. She played it fast and slow. The same tune, the same notes, everything was the same. It's just it depended on it depended on what was going on, whether she played it fast or slow. And exactly. people were lined up outside the, the church was packed. People were lined up outside the windows looking in. I mean, mm. it, it was it was off the chain, and they didn't. There was no sense in the kids got to go to school in the morning because we make it home. Two thirty in the morning, two o'clock in the morning, and have to get up, lay down, take a bath, go to bed, and get up the next morning for school. <laughs> yeah, true. you know what? If y'all, if if y'all are into watching Disney cartoons, and even if you're not, I need you to find Aristocats. It's oh a Disney yeah. Disney cartoon called Aristocats. And yeah. in one scene, they're singing, "Everybody wants to be a cat." And when you see how the whole house is rocking because it's an old house, the, the floors are wooden and they're stomping and they're playing the tambourines and the piano and it's like the piano is sliding across the floor. That's it. That's what that was. Oh. We didn't have any drums. We had oh. tambourines and, and hefty women stomping feet. Stomping feet, baby. 
and them big old hands. I listen. Let me tell y'all something. When I was coming up, I have never seen women with hands. Listen, their hands were so big. Listen, and I just thought about that. I was just watching them, you know, in my head, remembering how they stumped that flow and clap. Their hands were huge, and I was like, and the, and the, I see. the first one that come to mind is Ain't Louise. Ain't Lou, boy. Ain't Lou. Ooh, Lord. Yeah. I put a video of Ain't Lou on, on YouTube, so, I, you know, you know, you, you just, you know, I go back every now and again and listen to a saying, it's important to me that I'm saved. That I, it's important yeah. to me that my soul is set free. Anyway, I'm reminiscing. Let me tell y'all some good church. Do you hear me? Now, what got me about the yeah. church? Now, I want to segue into what creeps me out. Can we just take a uh-huh. moment? <laughs> that bathroom. Listen. The bathroom and that weird room at the back of the church. It was a weird room. Wait a minute. That's when it, <laughs> that's when it made it to the church, because remember, it was outside. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember when the it was outside? Outhouse. Oh, my God. <laughs> it, was out, it, was, it was outside, and you had to slightly go down the hill. You know, it wasn't, but, I don't know, 10 feet. Away from the actual building of the church, uh-huh, it was between uh-huh. the it was between the church and the uh, the cafeteria because there was yeah, a separate yeah. building that was it had a whole kitchen with tables and stuff lined up and all of that, and you could you could come up on anything down there, snakes, <laughs> anything, because I mean it was right there at the edge of the woods, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that that bathroom inside at the back creeped me out. But what creeped me out even more was that that outhouse. Now that's when I was little, oh. little. Lord have mercy, that old house. Listen, I remember, I remember going out there one night, and I don't even remember if they had a, a light. I don't know. All I know is. I I really could have peed on myself that night. I really could have just, you know what I'm saying? I would have just took, I would have just took that whoop, right? If I would have known, because I really didn't go to the restroom that much. You know what I'm saying? Because I try to use it. You know, mom, use that bathroom for you. You know, you know, how, if you're country, you know what I'm saying. Your mom make you use that restroom before you get in that car. Y'all better use that bathroom because I don't want you walking in church. Oh, my God. When I said, <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going outside, going outside, Jesus. And it be, it's like in the country, y'all see, in the city, it ain't really dark. Look, can I help somebody? In the city, <laughs> Jesus, be offense all around me. Ain't no, and, and watch this, ain't no trash trucks in the country. Can I help somebody? No. No, my lord, not at all. So when you look, when you go into the restroom, you go into the bathroom, you go into the toilet, you go into the porta potty, the old school porta potty. It's pitch <laughs> black. You understand me? Yep. Outside, Jesus, be offended. Be offended. All around me every day. And since I'm talking about it, that trash can, mother had a barrel. Mm. Two of them. Was it two or one? I don't know. I can't remember. And we, look, we burn trash in the country. Oh, I didn't realize I was this old. We burn trash (laughs) in the country. I be hearing people talking about the trash, you know, and and just now I realized that I was really in the country. I was really in something out of the color purple. Mm. I was, girl, we was, girl, that one light they had. Remember that one, <laughs> that, one <laughs> that one light over the, Jesus, you remember that? That's crazy. I'm scared. 
the, that is the one light crazy. over them. That one light over them trash can. You know that. that oh but yeah. You know what? Yeah. 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 Girl, yeah. And then there was another light up on the hill. See, I remember where all the lights were because I, I was, I had a problem with that dog. I listen, baby. <laughs> then that little black dog. What's the name of the dog? I don't forgot the dog name. Dry. 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 Golly, man. The dog's name dry. Is dry. Baby, listen. Dry stayed live till he dried up. Dry was there till he was dry. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't lying. I am not lying. Another yeah. thing that creeped me out is mother house set up on bricks, right? <laughs> yep. And the porch, I used to love mother porch. Mother had a moat around her, around her, a ditch around the house. Mm-hmm. Unless I'm imagining that. She did. It was a ditch. It kind of ran out when you got around to the porch. Yeah. Mhm. Sure did. Sure did. We used to we used to shuck peas on the porch. Oh, we was country. We we shell peas. <laughs> shell peas, shuck corn. And I'm we, sorry. We did something with a shucker. Yeah. What we shuck? What did we, we shuck? They yeah. They had a they had a garden. Uh huh. Yeah. Had a garden. It was a huge garden. To us, we were little at the time. To us, it was huge. Oh, it was manless. Man, Man summertime. Like summertime for us was was ridiculous. Okay, so so a day in our life as kids in the country. <laughs> we get we get up that morning, fix our beds, put our clothes on. Brush teeth, wash face. Um, the whole time we doing this, mother was already up. She was already up in yeah. the kitchen. Breakfast was almost done. You could smell the food because she put garlic in her egg. You could smell the food like permeating through the whole house. Oh you know, my God. The rice and and the and the Owen sausage and the. Sometimes it was Owens. Most of the time, it came out of the um, it came out of the freezer because it came from whatever they had taken. You know, they had taken some hogs, you know, to get them processed or whatever. So whatever they grew on the farm, animals and and vegetables, that's what we ate. So you could smell the the sausage and the eggs and the rice and. All and the coffee because that was her thing and and I'm gonna tell you right now she invented iced coffee. She did that because that's what oh she make her coffee. Put it in there a little bit of coffee, some pet milk, some sugar, and after she mixed all of it together, she dropped some ice in there. And you can smell yeah. all of this. You can see the ice. You know what I'm saying. But you can smell all everything through the house. And by the time we got to doing, we were supposed to do that morning. It was time to come eat. You oh, eat. Yeah. You eat. And while you eating, she she picking up picking some ice. She froze gallons of water and put them in. She put gallons of water in the freezer to freeze them overnight. The next morning, she get them out. She cut that gallon jug up and picked that ice. She had an ice pick. <laughs> She picked oh. that ice and put it in a big, big little cooler, fill it up with water or Gatorade, and sit it outside with one cup. One cup. <laughs> for, for, for all of my grandkids, the grandkids that were there, the grandkids that stayed up the road, across the pasture, everywhere else, all the grandkids came down there, and they kicked us out all day. Mm. High noon, right after Young and the rest of us went off, <laughs> they come out, tell us to come in the house and get a bologna sandwich. <laughs> Talk about it. Maybe a, with a, a bag of chips, a thick piece of bologna on a bologna sandwich, oh. maybe a bag of chips, and us back outside. Oh. We till that and all share that one cup with either that water or that Gatorade, whatever was in that cooler. All uh-huh. day. All By day. The time we were good in 
dirt and sweat and smell like outdoors with that red dirt and all that stuff everywhere. Time to come in the house, take a bath, and get ready for bed. And get ready for my Lord. No. And the, and the no. most exciting the most exciting that you're gonna get after you get in the house is you pick up the phone and it's on the party line, so you hear somebody four houses down the road listening in on that conversation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was it. That existed. Yep. No. Yeah. No. I'm gonna throw this one out here. Ring in a chicken's neck. Mm. she did that. Oh my God! Yes, and then, hey, it. cook the chicken. Do you understand me? Listen, and that ain't all. We ate the chicken. Ate it. Oh my God! She smothered that chicken, y'all. Some of y'all ain't ate breakfast till you ate barbecue a barbecue chicken for uh, over some rice for breakfast. Man, look. When I when I tell you, it's one thing we never had to worry about. Nobody mm. went hungry. Nobody. Oh my yeah, lord. Nobody went. And we talk about the two tone cake, okay? Jesus. Listen. Yeah. There, there's 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 a couple of people in the family. Who come really, really close to that case? Real close. Yeah, real really, close. Really, really close. Really close, but you know, my Lord Jesus, Lord have mercy. Now I want to throw this one out here because people in Houston, I love y'all, I do, but you can't make tea cakes. Nobody, I <laughs> haven't ran into not, not one person. That make Don't real tea cookies. cakes. Yeah, some people make it sugar cookies. Get your tea cakes. I bought some tea cakes from this lady because I got excited. I was like, I was like, she oh, you know, no, no fun at yeah. But she oh, she she know. You know what I'm saying? She looked like she had a little battle wound. You know, little. So she she looked like she was a proud warrior, that kind of thing. You know, heavy handed. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, knew a way around a switch. You know. I was like, she made tea cakes. I'm getting some. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. All the qualifications to know how to bake. So, yes. Heavy hands, you know, hands big, you know. Listen, you got you <laughs> biscuit making women, <laughs> baby, big old hands, you know what I'm saying? You know you finna get some real. Yeah. It's about to go down, right? I was like, yeah, they, hook they, me they, up. They know how to shape those tea cakes and that hot water cornbread just right. Hot. Girl, I almost rolled across the floor. Hot water cornbread. Let's get on these tea cakes. Hold on. Hold it out. Hold it out. Don't go nowhere. But taste it. Listen, the tea cake showed up, right? Let me tell y'all something about tea cake. Tea cake, tea cake got to be dry. Let me just help you. Uh-huh. Tea cake got to have some flour, loose flour on it somewhere. That didn't, just uh-huh. for no reason. Yes, I did. Why did it? Yes. It has to have so it gotta be. I didn't say crumbs. I said flour. Let me help. Uh huh. Crumbs come. Crumbs come from a cookie. That's a cookie. So, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But she had that baby made some. She made some cookies. You understand me? I told you. People, I don't listen. A tea cake ain't 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 so sweet that it's a. That it's a cookie. It's not a tea cake. Is a tea cake, Sammy. Mm-hmm. I was very upset and disturbed because she had all of her hands. You know how the, the you know how you how the hand is. She got a big hand, and her hand you could you could her hand was light. Then it was dark. You know what I'm saying? It was old school mm-hmm. hand. Mm-hmm. And she made she made you made cookies. <laughs> You know, Sammy, you, 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 perp- look, that's false advertising. That's not, I came from the real country. I came from the shotgun house. You got the, oh, go ahead, Sam. Let's talk about how well cornbread, because I got mad. I got upset. 
Oh, my God, I got upset. I'm going to tell you another thing I got upset about before we get on this Howard of Cornbread because that right there is a showstopper, the Howard of Cornbread. Listen, I love chicken and dumplings, right? Now, I ain't going to lie. Yeah. I, baby, listen, I ain't going to lie. It ain't one person that made chicken and dumplings like, like mother. I'm just whatever. I just yeah. take what I can get now. But listen, so I was at. I was at another old lady's house. I don't mean to say old lady, elderly woman's house, right? Mm-hmm. And she was like, girl, I made chicken and dumplings. Let me tell you something about chicken and dumplings. Don't reinvent the wheel, okay? I don't care. I don't care what. I don't care. Do you, boo-boo. I'm not eating it. If it's not a dumpling in there, okay, so I was, I was, I got me a bowl of chicken and dumplings, right? You gotta have some. Look, you gotta mis, you gotta mistakenly or whatever have a couple of chicken bones in there. You gotta have. I'm just being real. Nah. You wanna be country? You got you wanna be country? Yeah. Come on, where put the put it together. I don't wanna eat the chicken bone because pe- you know country people gnaw on bones and stuff. I'm talking about real country people. They they gnawing on the bone. They you know click clacking on a gristle. You know what I'm saying? They country for real. Mm-hmm. You know. So. This this newfangled uh newfangled chicken and dumplings, I, I you know I can't I can't keep up. So she was like, okay, I got. So I was like, uh, okay, let me get me a bowl. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know. So mm-hmm. anyway, sat down with these with these chicken and dumplings. So I get me a you know a spoon because you gotta have a spoon. So I stuffed that uh-huh. spoon in there. Spoon came up out the bowl. It was like a pasta noodle or something. So, you know, the taste was right. You know what I'm saying? Couldn't find no bones or no gristles or nothing. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you mm-hmm. just can't you can't expect everything. You know, I gave the benefit of the doubt. But mm-hmm. baby, I, I so I turned laughing. I said, "Who these taste good? Because you got to start off nice before you ask them what this mm-hmm. is. What the, what the hell? You know, before you say what the hell is this? You can't you can't just." Uh, Bust up and say that when somebody's happy about giving you a bowl of what they cook. You know, you gotta, you gotta usher them uh-huh. in to the investigation. So I say, uh huh. So, so I said this different. You know, my mama. You know, use. You know, she makes a little biscuit dough or something. She use. You know, make the little right. So she say, oh uh-huh. no, I use I use uh tortillas. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so let me get myself together. So, when we left, and everybody know I'm stupid. I, I am. I ain't going to lie. I, I can't help it, you know. I can't help it. I came from a very sarcastic family. So, we leaving, right? <laughs> so, uh so uh, the person I was with said, don't you want to take a bowl with you? I said, a bowl of what? Chicken and dumplings. I said, well, no chicken and dumplings. I said, who cooked chicken and dumplings? <laughs> you just ate a bowl of chicken and dumplings. I said, I ate a bowl of chicken and something, but that wasn't dumplings. I'm sorry. <laughs> dumplings is a, oh, God, help us, Dan. Help, help us, help us, Dan. Help, help me out. What's what's chicken and dumpling? Maybe I'm lost. No, you're not lost. You're not lost. Not at all. Not at all. Dumpling. If you don't have, then it's not chicken and dumplings. It's chicken and noodles. It's chicken noodle soup. And and yet, don't get me wrong, Zam. Don't get me wrong. The broth and all that kind of stuff. It was good. It was good. But you're looking for that taste, that consistency that comes with the dumplings. You the dumplings. Mhm. That baby messed me up. I told myself, myself said, "Huh?" I said, "Girl, you got to stop. <laughs> <laughs> you got to stop eating people food. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? You got to stop eating people food." That's like that's like the lady that fixed me a pecan pie, right? She was like, "You like pecan oh, pie? God. I make 
I make <laughs> I make oh, I make Lord. pecan pie. She was like she was like, I make Queenie, I make pecan pies, right? You understand me? And and I, I'm not gonna lie, I am a food connoisseur critic, right? So <laughs> she made she made the pecan pie. Y'all wait a minute, hold on till you see. She made the pecan pie. I never eat people food in front of them after the dumpling situation. I eat the food at home because I have to be polite. Because they say if you don't, you, if you can't say nothing nice, don't say nothing at all. So I, I can't, I, I can't say nothing nice, but and I'm gonna say something. So I ate it at home. So I went home, right? Put the pie on the table. Zam, you already know I have a problem if the pie is too heavy. If the pie too heavy, I already know right then. If that if that table move when you sit that pie down, I already know I'm in for a trip. Okay? So somebody say, uh, let me get you a knife. We're gonna get we gonna eat sweet potato I mean some uh pecan pie. So I was like, Okay, yes, let's go ahead. I I overlooked the fact that it was heavy. I overlooked it. I said, Maybe they know something I don't know. Right? Okay. Cut into the pie, Zam. Lifted the piece of, look, cut into it, first of all, too many pecans. First of all, too many. Okay? Mm -hmm. All the goodness, that, the gooey goodness that's inside of a pecan pie was missing. Okay? Take the, lifted it up. It was dark. The inside of the pie was dark. Right? Uh -huh. So I'm thinking to myself, that dark she used the black taro syrup. Mm hmm Okay, I couldn't hold it. I coppered them. You know, I launched an investigation. People fall for it, so here it is. I called. I said, girl, <laughs> I cut that pie, girl. Girl, wasn't it good? My husband loved it. I say, what? I say, I say, uh, so how'd you make it? Because you got to find a way to get to the bottom of this. Because I'm not letting it go. Girl, how'd you make it? I say, I might want to make one. Now, you know, I can make a, listen, I'm a, look, I can bake. Listen, so, she was like, girl, I, all you need is some pecans, some sugar. So I said, oh, yeah, I know I'll let, what kind of syrup did you use? Because I know they said some about syrup. So, <clears throat> She told me she used a little bit of syrup, you know, pancake syrup, and she used the dark, the black taro syrup. I say, ah, pancake syrup. Ah, I say, ah, ah, <laughs> <laughs> ah, girl, ah, I say. <laughs> <laughs> I got off the phone. I said, girl, well, good night, girl. <laughs> <laughs> go, go ahead, then. Go ahead, then, girl. Go ahead. <laughs> girl, I hung that phone up. I said, oh, we got to be more careful. We got to stop doing this stuff. We got to stop doing what we want to do. We, you know, we got to stop just... <laughs> we got to stop saying, let's just... Let me do it this way. And And... Stop trying to reinvent it. You can't reinvent the wheel for a pecan pie. You got to do that that sweet potato pie, pecan pie, cheesecake. You understand me? You can't reinvent no wheel for that. You got to do that the way it's supposed to go. Are you finna mess the whole? Mm -hmm. You finna mess the whole holiday everything up. You finna just jack it all up. You know, mess up, mess up the whole holiday. Just throw the whole holiday away. Throw the whole holiday in the dumpster down the street. Just walk out the door and just just take Hello. the tablecloth. Wrap <laughs> look, wrap the whole dinner up in the tablecloth and just like Santa Claus, take it down the street. <laughs> throw it over in the dumpster. <laughs> Come back in and say, Cancel, do it. Just just do it. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I'm terrible. I'm terrible. Oh, boy. I'm sorry. <laughs> High water cornbread. 
Listen. I I I don't know what it is. I just I love hot water cornbread. I love it. Let me tell y'all something. I don't cheat. I don't cheat on cheating is not right. I don't cheat on my on my sister cornbread, my mama, how well I don't I don't cheat. On these people. Now, I got married to a dude that attempted to make high work cornbread and to be nice because it's in the bow. I tried his high work cornbread. <laughs> <laughs> and my blood pressure went up because put too much salt. <clears throat> and you learn your lesson when you get to playing and cheating on people's high water cornbread. But my sister, <laughs> this is this, this word on this line, baby. And my mama. And my my granny gone, mother gone, baby. When I say hot water cornbread, have you look? They call it a pone of cornbread. I don't know, baby. They get to the, putting that cornbread in their hand. If y'all saw me, y'all see my hand cupped. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know what I'm talking about. For a month, look, cup that bread in they in her hand. That uh, she. Y'all, cornmeal, help them down. What, how you make high water cornbread? Help somebody. Somebody needs to know. Well, you, you can know the ingredients, but that hot water just, is, is the deal. Because if, if you put too much, you mess it up. I cooked some mm-hmm. um, Saturday for, for mm-hmm. um, my girls were over, and I, and, uh, I cooked some Saturday. The first batch, I just put it in a bag and threw it in the trash. <laughs> I had I had to start over. I had I had so the consistency wasn't right. I had to put uh I had to, you know, get rid of it and start over again. But <clears throat> you know, the the meals and, and you can't just because it's a quote unquote name brand doesn't necessarily mm-hmm. mean that it's good. For cornbread, oh, because you have oh, you have um, some finely ground meal, and then you have that not so finely ground meal, and those big grounds don't don't do well. It has to mm-hmm. be almost powdery when when mm. you uh, make it. Now sometimes mm. if, if it's not powdery enough, you can add a little flour to it to help it out. Mm-hmm. And mix mix the salt and whatever you gonna put in there in there, and then add mm-hmm. the hot water. But you don't just Not pour me. the whole thing in there. You pour a little bit and you stir. You pour a little bit and you stir to get it the right consistency. Mm. And, um, the rest, the the rest, your family will tell you the rest. Yes. And, and if they anything like like uh, Janice, they'll probably tell you at the table. Oh my God! I'll be like, what is this? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> listen, listen. Let me tell y'all something. Another thing, she left this out. If you don't know how to, if you don't know how to cup your hand and make that, make that cornbread. If y'all saw me right now, my hand cupped, and and make that pour of cor- <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Make that that that. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That oval. It's it's not an oval. It's like a. It looks like. It's shaped like soap. You know that old school soap that caress and you <laughs> baby. <laughs> Y'all remember that, that so called safeguard, the way it was shaped? That's what it looked like that. That little yeah. orange safe. Baby. Stop yeah. making pancakes, hot water cornbread. Y'all be spreading that corn and you can't make hot water cornbread with Jiffy mix. That's what's wrong with some of y'all no. right now. Jiffy done, Jiffy done told tow y'all then tow y'all whole brain out y'all head. Y'all just over there with some hot water and some jiffy. You don't even use hot water in jiffy. You use milk and eggs. And you you over there trying to figure out why it won't. You can't get it. <laughs> I'm sitting over here, girl, with my head cup. You can't. Y'all better stop this nonsense. Somebody oh, made me a pancake, a pancake, uh, a pancake jiffy, uh, piece of cornbread, talking about this, uh, this, uh, 
my version of hot water, cornbread. I say, stop messing with stuff. Y'all can be messing with stuff. How am I supposed to eat that? I'm mm-hmm. supposed to eat that with a fork? What am I supposed to eat that with? No, just pick it up. I'm not picking up. <laughs> picking up something look like mm-hmm. a pancake. Y'all trip. I'm Please, not. they, 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 they'll be making making the hot water cornbread and and before it can get out the grease, good. Everybody got their hand in it, getting a piece. Or, you know, wait a minute, it's, it's not a piece. They're getting a poem. A poem. A poem. A Girl, poem. we got, okay, we got 90 seconds. Let's go and wrap this up. Go ahead, sign off for us, and we got into the country, girl. We was in the country. Oh, yeah, good good times, good times. Hey, y'all, glad y'all signed in tonight and uh, to check us out. We look forward to seeing y'all again next Monday. Y'all have a great week, and I'll get back with y'all next Monday. Oh, all right, y'all. Listen, I don't like none of y'all. I'm just telling you the truth. I don't like none of y'all because half of y'all make that jiffy hot water cornbread. Half of y'all make that jiffy, <laughs> <laughs> jiffy, jiffy cornbread pancakes. Y'all better <laughs> listen. Everything, everything you see on the on the jiffy box, <laughs> you ain't supposed to be making. I'm just saying. I'm gonna help y'all. Us, your family won't tell you that. They just keep letting you bring that stuff to them family <laughs> gatherings. They won't tell you that. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you, they talk about you when you leave the room. I'm telling you right now. They talking about you right now. Okay? I'm just telling you. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you. When you go to the next family gathering, ask your mama, say, Mama, what they be saying about my about my uh, cornbread pancakes? Watch what your mama tell you. <laughs> she going to say, baby? <laughs> when she say, baby? <laughs> When she Thank sit you, you down, when she, <laughs> yeah. when she grab your arm and sit you down, <laughs> you got, you got to know right <laughs> then, right then she been let you know. <laughs> Listen, I love you all, but we gotta go. This has been uh-huh. Giselle and Queenie on fifty nine twenty six Central. Make sure you listen to it. We are on Facebook. When I click, bye bye. This is uploaded to Facebook. You can grab this show off our My Gospel Soul magazine page, and you can share it with somebody. We love you, and we just want you to know we just country. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs>